Hello Taurus and welcome to Ascending Souls Journey. I am Lorianne and we're going to take a look at the month of April. We're looking at the sun, moon, and rising sign of Taurus and we're going to see a career, finance, family, friends, whatever, and romance of course. Whatever comes through this reading, I'm going to reiterate the messages to you that I hear, see, and feel and I will show it to you through the cards as well. So we're gonna start your reading off overall uh, energy from my Intuitive Energy Oracle deck. So this is like picking up the energy vibrations. For some of you, you might be feeling, cause I am recording this on March 29th, and we just moved into the beautiful Libra moon energy. So you might be feeling that this is gonna be, a lot of you are gonna be coming into a place of balance. Now, what I mean by balance, for a lot of you, it actually is going to be in your financial sector. So you may be getting a new career, you may be getting a new job offer, but you do have the card of low vibration. This is about water. This is your emotional level, is in a low vibrational state right now for a lot of you. And that's not surprising, you know, I mean, pretty much that, that's going to be like universal right now. A lot of people are in that low vibe, right? But for some of you, I just feel like you're just feeling this lack, lack of money, lack of attention, lack, lack, lack. And it doesn't mean there's anything wrong with you. You just are feeling unsatisfied with what's going on around uh, your life right now. And for a lot of you, that's going to pose as a very good thing that you're feeling that because it's going to push you. There's like this beautiful energy shift that's getting ready to come in with this Libra moon where it's going to like push us. We have this really quick opportunity to jump on this invisible air, so to speak, a little roller coaster and ride it into a positive high vibrational level. And I feel a lot of you are going to feel that you're going to take that opportunity and you're going to jump on it. So this is like a vibrational energy you're going to feel. You're going to feel the shift. You're going to go from this low vibration of low emotions. You might be feeling a little sad, a little depressed right now. And I don't mean suicidal. I mean just, you know, lull. You know, it's a life is boring. Is this all it's going to be? You know, <laughs> I mean, And it's not. And you know it's not. So with the seven of cups, my dear, this is about you, the confusion. Confusion of what's going on in the world, what's going on in your particular life, in your arena itself, in your own dreams. You might be seeing a lot of really weird things and a lot of people are going to do that. From here to September, there is going to be a heightened amount of dreams where we're going to see some weird stuff going on. Write those dreams down because it may be what's blocking you. But for a lot of you, this is, this is a multitude of opportunities coming in. Now, what I'm actually getting is like a, 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 this slamming of an idea, a vision, an inspiration. It's like all of this knowledge, ancient wisdom, invisible help is coming in and it's going to be in your dream state. This could be awake. This could be asleep. For a lot of you, it will be awake. Now we have the Page of Cups. This could be somebody close to you who is a, uh, a teenager, young adult, um, water sign, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And what I'm feeling for you, what I just saw is like a family dynamic where this is a child, where the, there was some confusion around a child of yours in your home, in your actual home. So again, that's a a teenager rolling into that young adulthood. And what I'm hearing is there's some type of information that they're going to sh they are going to share with you. I feel it's going to come directly from them that they're going to share with you. We have the three of pentacles, a skill they're really good at. You know, with this confusion, there's this sense of feeling inadequate. So you may be dealing with a, a family member. This could be you and your parent, you and your child. This could be a friend, but there is, I feel, an age difference between you. Where, where they were reflecting on their own self-value, their own self-worth, like, do I have anything to even contribute? Now that could come from a conversation that you had with this individual, but I feel they were coming from that emotionally immature phase that we all go through in life, right? And that's why I do feel it's a younger person that you're dealing with. 
But they had to reflect and look, do okay. I, what, what, what do I have? What are my skills in life? So this particular individual may have been going through, and it could be very well, could be you, Taurus, uh, where you're not really feeling the love, you know, you're not feeling the love of the world. You're feeling like you need to look for a new skill set in life. You're very confused about what to do in your future, about what to do when it comes to romance, about life in general. And as we reflect and we really look at those multiple options with the Seven of Cups dynamic, you are going to see you've got some amazing skills. You see, each and every one of us, and this is why I can say that so confidently, each and every one of us have skills that we can use in every aspect of life to earn a living. We have skills we're good at. Now, if you, you know, if you feel this is your sole life purpose, something that you're doing, maybe you're not making the money just because, well, let's use a painter, for example, right? You're very good at painting. That's your sole purpose. You know you're supposed to paint, but you're not making any money. Maybe what you're doing is not what you're meant to do. Maybe it is painting, but if you're painting portraits, maybe you're supposed to paint bridges, or maybe you're supposed to paint murals on walls like I used to have behind me, right? So it's like looking at every resource that you have. You guys also are looking at you have a lot of money going out. My right hand is itching, and that is not by chance in this reading. So you have some expenses going out, and you might be confused on how you're going to do that. Again, looking at all the skills and resources that you have around you. I am seeing a grandparent. I feel some of you have a grandparent you can go to. Maybe it's the King of Wands. So this is a person who is very, very good at relationships overall in general. The King of Wands is an amazing energy where they're very vibrant when they speak. And this is somebody that we all like to listen to, this kind of a personality. Very charming, very charismatic, and mesmerizing for a lot of us. Typically, they whether they're really technically attractive, their, their personality is so amazing, they are so attractive. So whoever this person is in your life, I feel they have, are an authoritative individual. And if this is your partner, then that's what I just described, or even a parent or a grandparent. But this is a person who will use discernment before they give. And this is a person who is coming from a high vibrational level. So if you're looking for help when it comes to uh, reviewing your personal skills, that's what I heard, reviewing your personal skills, this person will help you do that, absolutely. We have the two of pentacles. This is being in balance. And right now with this Libra moon energy, this person may actually help you come back into balance, Taurus. Because I feel a really great vibration, uplifted energy is associated to the majority of you looking at this. You may not feel that way today, okay? But please continue to look in a positive forward movement over the next one to two weeks because this is happening between the third and fourth week of the month of April. And we are on the 29th of March, so you may not feel that way yet. But coming into a place of balance, this person can help you financially. They can help you see actually what your true skill set is. It's not always easy for us to analyze, well, what am I saying? It is really freaking hard for us to analyze our own self. We can look at other people and say, well, they need to do this, 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 and this, and then they're going to be great, but we can't see it in our own self. This person is going to help you see that. If this is you, and if this is not you, this is whoever you're dealing with. And again, we do have these two opposite energies. One, there's an age difference, okay? There's a maturity level difference between the two of you. We also have the Ace of Cups, and this is about emotional cleanse. This is about opening up to abundance. And in order to open up to abundance, Taurus, whatever's inside of us that is making us feel stuck, stagnant, um, you'll see my puppy walking around behind me, uh, stuck or stagnant in life, it can block us from money, it can block us from love, everything we truly want in the world. This is a huge 
cleansing of the old where you're going to start recognizing the absolute beautiful you now you have a lot of cups on the board right now and we are looking at a low vibrational energy in the overall energy around you this is the invisible that field around you the energy field through you around you and it connects to other people so you're transmuting and trans you're like a little radio and you're sending your low vibrational energy to other people once you cleanse out whatever this is i feel you're feeling a little bit down and blue about yourself like maybe you just you're just not seeing the value in you this person whatever and it may not even be somebody that you know this may be somebody that you've never met before and i'll look i'll ask um but this person is going to help you move out of that funk and that's when things are going to get good for you that's when they're going to get really good the low vibrational energy will keep you stuck it will keep you in a holding pattern for months and decades if we don't move out of it I'm hearing a no, but let me see what comes out. So we have the Queen of Cups, and this is a person very open to love, very open and allowing abundance to come in. You see, this individual understands that if we block our heart from love, if we're angry at somebody in a romantic relationship, it will literally block our money. It will block everything, like I said a little while ago. So this person is very much in balance, and we are looking at the Queen of Cups, the King of Wands, and the Page of Cups. I feel this is a family dynamic, absolutely, for a lot of you. Not necessarily that, that you uh, uh, are dealing with somebody new, but it's going to be split, obviously. Some of you are, and some of you aren't. Use your intuition when it comes to the situation in the month of April, because this particular month is a month of absolute enlightenment. This is the high priestess. This is using your inner wisdom, inner knowledge, and gaining the secret information inside of you that's going to move you forward. There is a huge cleansing. You've been very, very patient, and so is this individual. When it comes to a shift in the energy vibration so if this is a family if this is your family if this is your partner the shift has been way overdue and i feel it's because torres the one viewing this video may have been a little bit stubborn now they probably were forever like forever and now you feel you can take your time and you're absolutely right but in the process make sure that you are embracing this beautiful uh uh cups energy of cleansing out the old you got something brand new coming in you got to see your value this brand new let me see if i can find it here this brand new value coming in this is like um 20 so it looks like something that's going to benefit you for the next 20 years it could be a financial investment it could be a relationship we have the emperor now, this would be a very profound job offer, you see, but this job offer can't come through if you don't see the value in you. So whoever this king of wands is, and they may have a queen of wands as a partner, you're going to know who that is in your life. You're going to meet them. You're going to know who they are right away because they're going to be very, very wise. And again, they're very captivating, like you are not going to be able to turn your eyes away from them. Pay very close attention to them. This is a job within the government entity. This is in a country, a city entity, a large organization. This is a huge corporation uh, that is most likely international that can benefit you. Like this is a career opportunity. So whatever, the, and for some of you, this is an actual person. This is the person you've been waiting for, but the majority of you, I feel it's more in the financial arena. So pay very, very close attention to your dreams. Write them down. Uh, book a session with me if you don't know what they mean. But this is an opportunity getting ready to come in that is going to be amazing. Yeah, right there. So the Four of Cups, being bored, being complacent. You may be dealing with an Aquarius only because I just did the live reading and this was in the live reading as well. 
This is be waiting for the universe to send you whatever it is you need. The information, the dreams, the illusion, the, you know, to bust through the delusions. This, this is you being able to finally get up from a place of complacency. And April, this is representing the month of April to me. When I see this card, this is absolutely April. So you guys have something really, really incredible getting ready to come in. Now we do have the, uh, we have uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Leo, Aries, Sag, Virgo, Taurus. We have everything on the board except for air energy other than that one mention that I just gave you a minute ago. So that's not a lot of communication when we're talking about air, that's communication through the internet. So whoever you're communicating is in person, it is in email, written form, but for most of you it's gonna be in person, I feel it will be. Separation, for those of you who have been in a roommate, uh, relationship, you've been separated from this person for a while. And that's why I was saying they're, they're, they, they needed to see the value. So if that wasn't you we were talking about, that may very well be your partner. The sense of value is returning in the month of April. For those of you who are single, oh my goodness, you've got romantic feelings. So whoever this person is, whatever this opportunity is, is just going to open your heart up and it's going to lift you into this beautiful brand new beginning. And I say beginning for a reason. It's going to be like the the door opening and your foot getting in and it's like, I'm so excited. I got my little toe in the door. You know what I mean? It's going to be very positive. And as you continue to move forward, it's going to grow with you for at least a decade or two. So you, I hope you guys have an amazing month. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel, Ascending Souls Journey. Much love.